prayer again just for a moment. Chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, this woman who prayed that prayed a prayer so powerful that it got results. It says, my heart exalts the Lord. My strength is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, in other words, uh, this mother's prayer makes her heart reject heaviness. It's not that you won't have to deal with a heavy heart every now and again, but her conversation with God was so real yes. that her heart reject, yes. rejected the heaviness. It, it renews her strength and causes the words of her mouth to rout her enemies. Woo. That's good shout stuff. And I know you will see. And this is the problem of feeding y'all before service. Because <laughs> that right there is somebody's word. Yes, mm. yes, yes. That yes. your enemies will run mm. from you. Hallelujah, God. Just off of the words of your mouth. Mm. Yes. But you first have to get rid of that heavy heart. Yes. Uh -huh. And yes. only God is the one that if you exalt him, if you yes. praise him, if yes. you lift him, he will then in turn oh, boom yes. right that thing right. So that the words of your mouth and the meditations of your heart are so acceptable in the yes. sight of our God that yes. he won't look at you any other way than the way he created you. And yes. he created you to be more yes, than a conqueror. Come on. Come on, man. I, I don't know, maybe this, this, this ain't for everybody because maybe you don't have no enemies. <laughs> maybe you don't have anybody that's coming after you and you can't do nothing with it. But for the two of us that are in here, Amen. that have more than our share of haters, yeah. we yeah. will gladly share them with you. <laughs> this, this, this mother's prayer put her in a position that she was able to eliminate her enemies just with the words of her mouth. Mm. A praying mother. And can, can we look back at the text? This brother, this mother makes her enemies run, but it also says in verse 2, there is none holy like the Lord. Yeah. Yes. There is none beside you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. Mm. <laughs> this mother's prayer gave her perspective in the Lord. For the Lord is God. For he starts everything, and he stands alone, and he's the only foundation solid enough to stand on. I wonder yes. how yes. many of us have allowed our situation to convince us of what it's trying to have us believe. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh, let me see if I can say that again. Uh, do you know that God was before what you're in is? Amen. 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 And, and that no matter how your is is, he was. <laughs> and because he was, he can change your is. Yes, that's right. If you would just believe that he was before you is. Right. <laughs> don't, don't ask me to do it again because I don't think that I can. God starts everything. Yeah. And the same way that this thing has started in your life, God can start a new thing in you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. God, that, that one yes. is kind of worth shouting off yes. of because yes. you know it's sometimes that we ask God to take us out, to remove this from us. But you know what we should do, Carrie? We should ask him just to start something new. Yes. Yes. Come on, you better say so. Come on, baby. You, you know, I, I, I'll tell you, one, one of the shows that I used to love back in the 80s, back in the day, uh, was Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you all remember that with Robin Leach. Yes. Yeah. Right, right, right. Champagne wishes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wish I had yeah. some yeah. 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 And, and one of the things that, that I used to enjoy about this show is that the wealthy that were highlighted back in the day seemed to have no care for Right. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they didn't live like the rest of us lived. As a matter of fact, whenever they went on vacation, they didn't even pack. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but oftentimes, uh, most of the 
stress is getting ready. I mean, you're excited about where you're going, but but when you start to think about what am I taking and what am I bringing and all of that stuff, and now the way that things are, you have to be very efficient in the way that you pack because you're gonna get charged extra just for taking stuff to be prepared while you're living. But see, here's the thing about the lifestyles of the rich and famous back in the day: they never packed whenever they were couple. They would just buy it, then they go. Right, right, right. That's a vacation. See, you missed miss my point. But what I'm saying to you is that, that like having a relationship, having a praying mother, having a conversation with God can be so powerful that he doesn't have to prepare you to Come on, Jesus. He, he, he doesn't have to deal with anything that is currently going on and bring it to a close. He can just start something new. Yeah. 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 Stop asking him to finish it or to close it or to end it. Just say, God, you was before this is. So since you was, how about you create something new? was a praying mama here who understood that only in him was there a sure enough foundation on which to stand. Therefore, there's no need to put any confidence in anything or anyone who is not him. And since there's no need to put any confidence in anyone or anything that is not him, then you have to guard the words that come out of your mouth. Amen. Yes. Yes. See, the yes. difference with the praying mamas of yesterday is that they didn't say a whole lot of stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what they say, right. Amen. watch yourself. Hello. Mm -hmm. See, when you know that God is your sure foundation, you don't oh, put on, your man. mouth on everything. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. right. When you know he was, he is, and he forever shall be, ain't no need to put a whole lot of talk. I, I'm, I'm pacing it to my next point, but, but this kind of reminds me of back in the day that you could always tell the players who could really fight and those that couldn't. Amen. Those who had a lot of this. Don't even waste your time. <laughs> Somebody that you really needed to worry about uh -huh. was that quiet. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You could talk all the game in the world. They never said nothing to you. Uh -huh. But no sooner did you get up. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm still there. Those were the ones you had to walk out for. So you don't put any confidence in the things that are not God. Because if you would just watch your mouth and the things that come out of your mouth, then you might find that you get everything that's based in it. I'm, I'm moving to the third point. Y'all all right? Yes. Yes. All right. The, the text goes on in verse 4 of prayer. The bow of the mighty are broken, but the feeble bind on strength. This mother prays a prayer that has brought her to a place that may have started because she was weak, because she did not know what to do. But in her weakness, God has proved himself to be strong and her defender. Her enemies have underestimated her because they thought that who they were dealing with was just her. Only to come to their own ruin. Yeah. I, I believe it's still the word that says that you'll come in one way, uh -huh. but you're going to flee up out of here seven ways. Amen. Yes. See, that's what the mothers knew. That's why they didn't have to move much. You come in here. And you're going to leave limping. Right. Right. Yes. Are, are, are there any wonder women in the building? Okay. Women whose pain has moved you to pray. And now people stand and wonder about the God that you know. Amen. 
all because she did not run from her pain. Hannah was a woman who, instead of running from it or hiding in it, she decided to express it. But she didn't just express it to anybody. She expressed it to the only body who had any power Amen. to do anything Amen. about it. I, I know that we are in a communication age where we blog and we tweet and we tweet. <laughs> and I'm in that generation in between. I, I, I learned how to type on a typewriter. <laughs> but I'm not that old. So watch it. <laughs> I can still work all of my social media accounts. But, but every now and again, I, I miss the days of old. Where you couldn't find me. Amen. 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 Amen, lights. Amen. And I didn't feel obligated to tell you everything. That's right. Oh. Uh, well, I understood that no, this ain't for everybody because you can't handle the truth. Amen. This, this, this woman here understood and knew that even though she started off in a place that began in pain, that it was only because she was willing to deal with it and deal with it instead of talking to those who couldn't help her by talking to the one that could help her, that she would ultimately find the help she needed for the situation she was in. I, I really want to end right here because I, I believe that you kind of get the point, but I think if I did, you might miss the power. I think that if I ended it right here, you would miss the power in the text because this mother's prayer had power because she prayed with purpose. Can I show you just three things right quick? Y'all all right? Yeah. Nobody sleep yet? Y'all good? Yeah. 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 good? The prayer that produced power that this mother connected with God has three key things in it that I think is important for 